Ready, men? Ah! We fight two on two. Then the winners will fight. And that winner will earn his place in next year's raid. So I think what I'd like to do is I'd almost like to like scrub through it um, because some of the notes were around the fight scenes, which we'll have to break into specifically. Yeah, I knew, I knew we were going to have to come out to those. When it comes to sound design, it's interesting because if you do it well and excellent, you won't think about it too much. It basically adds to the believability and the experience of the whole film. Hi, my name is Jeremy Kazura. I'm the re-recording mixer and sound editor of Half Dance. I think the greatest challenge had to do with the, the length of this film. Uh, when you have half an hour of dialogue, half an hour of fully uh, backgrounds and sound effects of two different fight scenes, it adds just so much uh, work that layers on top of each other. A chance. Oh, I don't, also, I don't know if I have the version of this music that, uh, it doesn't have a two pop in it. What was it like working with Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy. Really, really good. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> working with Jeremy was excellent. Um, he's very easygoing and very patient. You know, we have a lot of conversations, and even when we're talking about things like sound sync issues, which terrify me, uh, he's very, you know, level, even keel, and uh, methodical in his approach. So it was really great to have him at the wheel and just kind of guide us through the whole sound editing process. Um, I am definitely not a sound editor, and Robert is not by trade a sound editor. Um, so it was really nice to have somebody who really specialized in that. Then I would disgrace my sons if I choose you over them. Take all your sons. We could farms get plundered when all men go on raids. Hi, my name is Robert Harden, producer for Half Death. Man, the process for finding a sound designer was an arduous one. Sound design and Foley was by far the most challenging aspect, uh, along with sync issues. <laughs> was by far the most challenging aspect of uh, putting this film together. Um, we went through so many different interviews, had one potential, then they backed out. Then we brought another gentleman on, worked with him for a little bit, and then the relationship fell apart. What we ended up doing was coming back to a gentleman we used in the very beginning we were doing, when we were doing our uh, marketing videos. His name is Jeremy, and Jeremy was already an amazing professional, really low-key just laid-back guy fun to work with and uh, we were really wanting to work with him on the, the the short film but at the time when we first asked him he was tied up in some other projects so it was a no-go there's no fresh sign of game anywhere why are we stalking because we're not hunting game so the post-production process for, for audio for a film is uh, we get a file from the editor that contains all the dialogue and any temp sound effects or temp music that might be there. We take that, we break it all out into separate channels for all the characters. Then we start going through and cleaning it up and making it sound the best we can. Uh, in Half Dan, we, they filmed in a lot of noisy locations. And so uh, taking out wind or any weird costume noises or anything that's unpleasant for the, you know, the sounds of the dialogue. Uh, we then we add in fully, doing kind of passes of cloth and footsteps for all the characters. Uh, we also do sound effects for all the swords and shields. It's a multi-layer process of, you know, taking metal hits and wood hits and, and whooshes and, and combining those, those all together. And then the, kind of the last two background pieces are the backgrounds, the ambience that we hear in the background, forest noises and bugs and these dense layers to create the environment. And then at the end we get the music from the composer and putting those all in. Invar. We mix those all together and uh, make it sound great. Look at this. What most excites you about the sound design? I'm really excited. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, what was that bird called? So the sound design, oh man, it's, it was one of those things where it was missing for so long when it was in place and it was tailored to what was going on, it blew me out of the water. I mean, the whole film felt like it had a third dimension. And like, it felt like I went from watching a 2D animated thing to a three-dimensional piece of work, if that makes any sense. It had a depth, it had a volume and a weight to it that we had been missing. 
It has finally smiled on you. <laughs> What's funny is the pelt too damaged. So the main thing I think sound design adds is texture. 